An Introduction to Chapter 2, A Historical Perspective on the Market Economy. In what sense does the market economy contribute to welfare? The setup of the market economy is different for every country, and a simple answer isn't possible. To provide clarity, it's a good idea to think about the concept of the free market, the market economy in its purest form, and a situation where government interference is minimal. A certain market system does not automatically guarantee success compared to market systems that include more governmental intervention. Take a look, for example, at Sweden and Denmark, who often outperform the United States. The governments of these countries put a strong stamp on their markets regarding social welfare, minimum wage, education, infrastructure, and environment, and they have a high GDP per capita. This is particularly achieved by taxes higher than 45%, which also creates the possibility for long-term investments in areas like education, infrastructure, and renewable energy. In addition, tax revenue is used for income redistribution and accessibility to health care services. Is it a positive development that since the 1980s more and more countries have embraced the market economy in different guises? Your question can best be answered from a historical perspective. In the 18th century, Adam Smith, patriarch of the concept of the market economy, advocated the idea that all farmers and citizens have the right to join the market. It is important to realize that he criticized the authorities because they prevented a free market, and especially the elite gained more rights to join. Smith also addressed the system of the guilds, who had all market power and prevented new parties from joining. The elite and the guilds held all the cards. They regulated the market. It was a society governed and arranged in a hierarchical pecking order, from top to bottom, with the top holding the reins. Looking 300 years down the road, we see that the system market economy has been accepted worldwide. Now countries like China, Russia, and India join. Because of the market economy, some decades ago business is more motivated to invest in production facilities and export, and that creates prosperity. But it is important to note that too much market can also be an obstacle to prosperity. What are the important points when considering advantages and disadvantages of the market economy? The market economy as a production system for society includes some disadvantages that must always be kept in mind. Relevant issues are animal spirit, externalities, and money makes money. Let's begin with animal spirit. Competition is a distinctive aspect of the market economy which certainly provides dynamics, but there is a downside. John Maynard Keynes coined the term animal spirit. Society's players are constantly searching for increased productivity and opportunities, but tend to back off if they don't see winning odds. It is true that during a boom period, prosperity increases, but it should be realized that the opposite happens as well. The phenomenon of self-fulfilling prophecy can fuel a booming economy, as well as creating a depression with high unemployment. A second important advantage of the market economy are externalities, which are costs that are not reflected in the price. The consequence is that companies and consumers do not pay for costs related to emissions, pollution, and depletion because no taxes or other government measurements are imposed. A good example is the price of fossil fuels. The market price should be higher than the free market price when taking into account that the burning of fossil fuels is the prime cause of climate change and the subsequent harmful effects. Since nearly all countries in the world use the market economy in order to maximize prosperity, it has become evident that the climate and environment have come under increased pressure. The entire world community should combine their forces in order to find a solution for the harmful effects. The 2016 Paris Climate Treaty is directly connected to the market economy in attempting to ensure that all externalities are not passed on to the society. You mentioned one more point that should be kept in mind when choosing for the market economy. Can you elaborate? Concerning money makes money, 
French economist Piketty published results of his research several years ago. His basic conclusion is that during the last 30 years, the rich have gotten richer because they receive revenue from the money they already have. And this applies to businesses as well as individuals. For the have-nots, it becomes imperative to correct the situation. The point is to understand that the system market economy works disruptively when the division between rich and poor occurs and the haves obtain too much influence.